In our last lesson, we were able to open and close different windows within the main window. Well, I went to, uh, let's go back to here and roll back to Beats and Bars, get a better view, and I can go to here and I can see what's on the hard drive. We can also do this and have them come up as a separate window within the system. So for example, I'm gonna go to Open Mixer and here the mixer window opens, it's pretty cool. I can also resize this window. I can pull up here from the corner and resize it vertically or horizontally, or I can go from the bottom or from the side. I can also press this green button right here, like with any other Mac window, click it and it opens up to full screen view. And of course to close it, just press Command W and that window closes. I'm going to open up the Mixer window again, which is Command 2. And also, you can see here, I can scroll across my mixer with my trackpad. So I'm moving my hand across the trackpad, two fingers are sliding across the trackpad, and I'm sliding across the view of my mixer. As I go all the way to the right, you'll see we have here that master fader we saw earlier when we were looking at the inspector. It's right there. And of course, I can scroll back. And of course, I can close the window, right? Now I can also, let's say, click right here where nothing's at at all. And I can go here to Window, and I want to look at Piano Roll. I pull it up. As you notice, it opens up. Nothing's in it. Blank. Zip. So I'm going to close this window. You've got to select something first, right? So I'm selecting this window here. I can press uh, Command-4, and I can pull the window up again, right? But what I can do here also, I can go to here, and let's say it's like this one right here. And I can select option and click twice and now the window opens up and we see the view also of the MIDI notes that are for that piano track and you can, I can also move my cursor here back and forth from right to left for my trackpad with two fingers and it's a cool way to get the view much quicker than having to tap it in and to actually go let's say command four I can do the same thing here by just double clicking here twice and you'll notice at the bottom we get that piano roll window again here. And I can scroll up here. Now before we had to go to our control bar and select this button right here, which is my editors button right there, well, that scissors you can see right there. And um, I can pull up and down. But a better view of course is to always just select the option click on the pad on the actual sound I want to look at there and I can drag up here on my pad and see the actual information for the piano roll.